What's up guys, we are here in Beijing for the first stop of the last cluster in the World Cup. I am joined by my beautiful friend Femke Himskirk, who also just happens to be a gold medalist. And we're gonna ask her a couple questions so you guys can get to know her better. Ready? Ready. Okay, so being in Beijing, it's obviously pretty special to you. Can you tell us all a little bit why? Yeah, uh, actually I won the gold medal with the relay here in Beijing 10 years ago. So uh, yeah, it was a pretty, pretty special race and uh, it was very close with the United States, but luckily we beat them. <laughs> <laughs> no bias, no. But um, so with flying into China, so obviously being here 10 years ago and having that, like all those, like when you walk into the arena, do you feel like all those emotions and all that? All those things that come back up? Yeah, well, actually, uh, I came back uh, this year in March to this pool uh, because my boyfriend had to be here. And then I really had, you know, because it was the 10 years after, and I, I felt like, oh, this is where we raced, this is where we had the warm up. And uh, yeah, it, that, that was special. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. That's awesome. So you've been every stop so far in the World Cup. Do you, what do you feel is the benefits of racing back to back in this kind of format? Um, I think when you race back to back, like it gets more automatically the yeah. racing. Like yeah. you don't like you know you get a funky feeling when you didn't rest, race for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Like you're still like, uh, how do I have to like pace myself? Yeah. And everything feels weird. So I think it feels more natural when you do it automatically. Yeah. You stop thinking about it. Yeah, for sure. Right, we've been like obviously three weeks now since the last cluster, and I feel like I'm so excited to race again. It feels like it's been so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the same. I'm the same. <laughs> Um, so when you're not training or competing, what do you like to do for fun? Uh, I, I like to be social, so I like to see my friends, have dinners, uh, you know, some now and then I like to have a party, but that never happens, but I like to <laughs> have a party. Uh, yeah, I spend some quality time with, uh, cool. with the people I like and That's love. That's cool. Yeah. So your love language is quality time. That's awesome. Yeah. So freestyle is primary stroke, right? Yes. So if you weren't a freestyler, what stroke would you like to be? Uh, I think I would like to be a better breaststroker because then I could also like face yeah, off my IM. Right. Because the others, I'm pretty all round, but my breaststroke is yeah, the, the weakest. But I love do weak, uh, the I love to do the breaststroke, but it's my weakest uh, yeah. weakest stroke. That's yeah. cool, breaststroke. Yeah. Well, I can help you in breaststroke if you ever need help. Okay, so you, that's on tape, right? <laughs> How would you describe yourself in three words? Um, I think I'm a caring person, uh, disciplined, and spontaneous. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I, I hope so agree. Um, what advice would you give your younger self? Oh, my younger self. Um, I think I would tell myself to enjoy it a little bit more mm -hmm. because when I was younger, uh, there was like I felt too much pressure. Like I have to do this. I I want to do this, and like. I think I forgot about the fun and I, yeah. when I get older I felt like yeah it's a lot more fun but e because even when you like win a race and you didn't achieve that with having yeah, exactly. fun then you, still you don't enjoyable. enjoy it yeah, so exactly. yeah I think yeah. having more fun that's so sounds, important yeah it sounds, yeah, I mean, cliche. It sounds cliche but it's it's so true like I see I mean like you said on the top stage a lot of athletes who I mean they work their entire lives for this 50 second 20 second race yeah. and then to not enjoy it it defeats the purpose. Yeah, that's why I love the World Cup so much. Like, yeah. it's so social. So like, it's made for me. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we've got one more question before some rapid fire. What do you want to be remembered for? Oh, that's a difficult one. Um, I think as a, well, a good athlete, but also the, like, uh, the one that's uh, fun to hang around with. Like, I hope, like, people remind me as a nice person. Yeah, for sure. Because, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> well, I think you're a lovely person. I love being around you. Um, so some rapid fire, ice bath or foam roller? Uh, ice bath. Coffee or tea? Tea. Book or movie? Book. Nice. Winter or summer? Ah, uh, oh, that's a difficult one. I like autumn. Can I have the okay. Yeah, autumn. There you go. <laughs> cool. Uh, vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. Beach or city? City. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Skydiving or bungee jumping? Oh, uh, skydiving. I would never ever do bungee jumping. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, no, no, no. Whiplash, neck hair. <laughs> um, day in or day out? So like if you had a free day, I, mean, I assume it would be a day out, but like if you had a free day to do whatever you want, would you stay in oh. or would you go out? Out. Yeah. Perfect. That's all of our questions. This was awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Racing begins tomorrow. Um, what do you have? I've got 100 IM, 100 breast, 53. 
400 free and 50 free. <laughs> that's a, that's a big spectrum, yeah. <laughs> which is incredible. But thanks for doing this. Yeah, so this is cool. Stuff. Everybody, Fimki, her See all guys. of her information is in the description below. Be sure to follow her and stay tuned for the rest of the vlogs. See you guys. Yeah.